Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about the sophisticated slingshot malware. This week, researchers at Kaspersky have released detailed information about a new nation state threat that they're calling Slingshot. And they call it Slingshot because apparently some of the modules in this particular malware have that particular name. In either case, this is some very sophisticated malware. I'll start with the fact that Kaspersky doesn't know for sure how the actors behind Slingshot are infecting the victims. They have some theories around how the attackers may be doing that first infection, and some of them involve the MicroTik router. According to Kaspersky, one of the things Slingshot can do is infect MicroTik routing devices. Basically, these MicroTik routing devices use something called Winbox in order for an administrator to kind of manage these routers using a Windows GUI. And through that Winbox mechanism, administrators of this router might accidentally infect their Windows computers with malware that actually came from the router. In short, the bad guys seem to be somehow hijacking MicroTik routers and putting some evil DLLs on the routers that these victims might accidentally be getting on their computer, and that might start the initial infection process. Now, once Slingshot infects your Windows computer, it actually loads a number of different modules. It all starts with the Slingshot loader file, which actually looks and is named after one of the official Windows files on your computer. In fact, one of the sophisticated things about this infection is not only does it patch that Windows file, but it retains the exact same size to Windows using various tricks. Now, once it installs that loader, it does a number of things, including installing two other modules. One is a ring zero or kernel level module, which essentially gives the attacker full control to do anything he wants on your computer. In fact, with the kernel module, you can kind of evade a lot of security programs and hide a lot of your activity too. Now, loading kernel modules in modern operating systems itself is kind of a challenge in that most operating systems require kernel modules to be signed legitimately. One of the tricks this malware does is try to find a legitimate kernel module or driver on your computer that's already signed, and it leverages different techniques to kind of use that module to load itself. Now, besides the kernel module, it also has a user level module that does all the kind of things that you might expect. Like, uh, ha it has a keystroke logger, it can steal your files, it can take screenshots. It does everything any sort of information stealing malware might do. And besides these user land and kernel land modules, there's also various other utilities that this malware can load. Now, one of the biggest things about this malware is it's highly evasive. It uses a lot of tricks to keep itself out of the eyes of traditional security software like antivirus and things like that. I won't go into all the details, but some of the things it can do is detect forensic software and kind of shut itself down before forensic software runs. In any case, it's super advanced malware. If you want to know all kinds of interesting technical details about it, and there are a lot of them, be sure to check out Kaspersky's full white paper on this, which I'll include as a link to the blog post associated with this video. Now, as far as who this malware is affecting, according to Kaspersky, so far it seems to primarily be affecting victims that are in Middle Eastern countries and African countries. This seems to be nation-state malware. They haven't attributed it to anybody, but it seems to be some nation-state targeting pretty significant targets, so likely it won't affect you. Nonetheless, this type of sophisticated malware, when its sort of techniques leak to the public, criminals often start taking advantage of some of these evasion techniques. So you can expect normal malware to eventually possibly evolve to this level of sophistication in the future. Anyways, it's a very interesting piece of malware. I highly recommend you uh, read the Kaspersky resources I'll link to. Besides that, you might want to know what to do. Well, the bad news is AV, traditional signature-based AV, did not catch this threat for years and years. According to Kaspersky, they first saw this malware uh, infect a victim back in 2012, even though they only detected it today. So this malware has been hiding on computers for a long time.
That said, the best way to protect yourself from this type of thing is to use things like advanced malware detection. There's new, more proactive techniques to catch malware like behavioral analysis, such as what WatchGuard does with our APT blocker service. With behavioral analysis, you have a better chance to catch this sort of evasive malware, but do know very sophisticated malware authors also try to evade sandboxes and other behavioral analysis techniques as well. One final tip for defending yourself is using something like WatchGuard's Threat Detection and Response Service. The truth is, no matter how much defense you have, one day you might actually get infected by malware. And there's a whole line of security products that they call Endpoint Detection and Response. In fact, that's what Kaspersky recommends in this particular case. This is a type of service that's not trying to initially detect and prevent malware. Rather, it's trying to find unusual software currently running on your computer, whether it be malicious processes, doing weird uh, code injection tricks, or something like that. WatchGuard's threat detection response service is very similar to that in that it can find malicious processes or malicious files and it uses the power of correlation between things we see on the endpoint itself and things we see that endpoint doing on the network to help you identify suspicious processes that might have actually infected your, your endpoint. And once we do identify them, we give you the opportunity to clean them up. So long story short, you're not going to always prevent everything. That's where cool services like Threat Detection Response can help you find breaches that have made it into your network and help you clean them up before they do too much damage. Anyways, it's an interesting piece of malware. I recommend you check out uh, Kaspersky's research. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.